Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to year six of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a text episode can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Today's selection is from Surah 25, Al-Furqan, or The Criterion, verses 1 through 20. These verses discuss the criterion for distinguishing between right and wrong, and the wrongdoers who refuse to believe the messengers of God simply because the messengers themselves are human. It is told that on the day of judgment, these disbelievers will be accountable for associating others with God. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Blessed is the one who has revealed the criterion to distinguish wrong from right, or the Quran, to his servant, that he may be a warner to the worlds. He is the one to whom belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, has begotten no son, and has no partner in his kingdom. He has created everything and ordained them in due proportions. Yet the unbelievers have taken besides him other gods that created nothing but are themselves created, and can neither harm nor even help themselves, and possess no power of causing death, or giving life, or of raising the dead. Those who deny the truth say, This Quran is but a forgery which Muhammad himself has devised and some other people have helped him. Unjust is what they do, and falsehood is what they utter. And they say, These are the stories of the ancients which he has copied down from what is read to him day and night. Tell them, This Quran is revealed by him who knows the secrets of the heavens and the earth. Surely he is ever forgiving and merciful. And they say, What sort of messenger is he who eats food and walks about in the markets? Why has no angel been sent down with him to threaten the disbelievers? Why has he not been given a treasure, or at least a garden, from which he could eat? And these wicked people further say, You are only following a man who is bewitched. See what sort of examples they apply to you, because they are lost, and cannot find the way to refute the truth of Tawheed, and life after death. Blessed is he who, if he wills, could give you much better things than what they propose for you, not one, but many gardens beneath which rivers flow, and make for you palaces too. But in fact they deny the hour, and for the one who denies the coming of the hour, we have prepared a blazing fire. When it sees them from a distance, they will hear its raging and roaring. And when chained together they are flung into some narrow space, they will fervently plead for death, but they will be told, do not plead for one death today, but plead for many deaths. Ask them, which is better, this hell or the eternal paradise which the righteous are being promised, which will be the reward of their good deeds and also their final destination, wherein they will live forever and get everything that they wish for. And this is the promise worth praying for from your Lord. On that day, he will gather all these people together along with the deities whom they worshipped besides Allah and ask, Were it you who misled these servants of mine or did they choose to go astray themselves? Those deities or creatures will answer, Glory be to you. It was not befitting for us that we could take any guardian besides you, but you let them and their forefathers enjoy the comforts of worldly life until they forgot the reminder, and thereby became worthless people. Thus your gods will deny all that you profess today. Then you shall neither be able to avert your punishment, nor shall you get any help from anywhere. And every one among you who is guilty of wrongdoing, we shall make him taste the mighty punishment. We have sent no messenger before you who did not eat or walk through the streets. In fact, we have made you a trial for one another. Now will you show patience, for your Lord is ever seeing. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed 
and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.